Hey guys. Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about pre-1947 cutoffs. So more specifically, what is the cutoff that makes a house protected versus not being protected? Now here's the thing, most people rather falsely believe that the 1946 aerial photo that's available on Brisbane City Council's interactive mapping system is the telltale factor. So it's kind of like the decision maker on whether something's protected or not. Hate to break it to you, but unfortunately it's not. Technically speaking, the cutoff is midnight on December 31st, 1946. So if the house was built before that date, then it's protected, assuming it's in a TBC or traditional building character overlay. However, if it was built after that date, then it's not protected. Now the 1946 aerial photo, I'm not sure exactly when it was taken, but it's something like October, heard a couple of people say March, Either way, it's not December 31st, which is why you can't rely on it as gospel. It's definitely a great guide, it's a starting point, but it's not the thing that you need to rely on when determining whether something's protected or not. Now, what happens if you get a situation where the house construction started prior to 1947, but was completed in 1947? Well, what you end up with is exactly what I'm at today. So I've turned up to this property. We've looked at a bucket load of evidence. So we've looked at purchase records, title records, mortgage records, building approval records, uh, drainage plan records, you name it, we've looked at it. <laughs> what we've worked out is that construction started in December 1946. However, we do have a drainage plan which shows that the roof was not there in, I think it was the 8th of January 1947. So what we can determine is that the roof is not protected. So the demolition work we plan to do to the roof, happy days, that's okay. However, what about the rest of it? Well, that's why I'm here today. I'm going to put my detective hat on. I'm going to try and walk around the house and have a look at some of the cladding, the windows. I don't know what I'll find, but I'll look at everything and try and work out if there's some obvious signs to tell me that those windows, those walls, all of those things have been changed. Hopefully, for the client's sake, we can prove that those features that we're planning to remove are not pre-1947 and they can still go down the path they're planning to do. So anyway, long story short, the purpose of today's video was to say do not rely on the 1946 aerial photo to determine whether something was built in or before 1946 because the aerial photo date and the official cutoff do not line up. So that covers off everything I want to talk about today. As I always say, until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane Sea Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all.